Welcome back at 652. Time for your morning news now. A new bill to ban TikTok could be up for a House vote as soon as this week. This time it's tucked into a set of four separate bills addressing Democrats' foreign aid priorities. Three of those bills have aid for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. And sources say the fourth includes a TikTok ban. This comes as the Senate has yet to take up a different TikTok bill that passed through the House with bipartisan support last month. That bill, if passed, would ban the platform from U.S. app stores unless the company breaks ties with its Chinese parent company, ByteDance. The La Crosse School Board finalized language for a school consolidation referendum. That referendum would close Emerson, Spence, and Hintgen Elementary Schools. It would build a new school at the Hogan Administrative Site. State Road Elementary would be expanded to absorb Hinchin students. Last night, the board added phrasing to clarify Hinchin's closure, which the referendum had not previously mentioned. I think that in the interest of clarity for the voters and understanding, this is what we're putting forward, what we think is a good plan to go forward and make an investment in our district. I think we need to be as clear about that as possible. The voters will decide on the referendum this November. West Salem High School has a new principal this morning. The school district announcing Justin Jen as the new principal. Jen served several roles in the district, including six years as associate principal for West Salem High School. He's succeeding principal Mike Malott, who's retiring. The district appointed Jen last week. And spring is in the air. You may be itching to fire up the grill or bonfire, but the La Crosse Fire Department is reminding everyone to prioritize fire safety. They say before you start a fire, check if your area is under a burn ban. Ensure flames are kept away from structures and only burn approved fuel. Also, keep a bucket of water or shovel nearby in case the fire gets out of control. And if it does, call the fire department immediately. Waiting to call just makes it worse. So if we get there and that fire has been put out already, we're not gonna be upset about it. So don't hesitate to call us if you're at all worried that that fire's gotten out of control. The city of La Crosse is currently under a burn ban. That means no open burning is allowed. That includes charcoal grills or recreational fire pits within city limits. And as the spring turkey season opens tomorrow, hunters are adapting to mild winter conditions. Less snow and warmer temperatures mean lighter clothing and longer days in the field. The DNR notes turkeys are also impacted by the weather, spreading out more due to the lack of snow. While this may make locating them harder, the milder conditions could lead to increased turkey activity. They didn't really have to fight off harsh winter conditions. Um, but that also kind of has kind of kick-started their spring breeding behaviors a bit earlier than what we typically see. When the turkeys start breeding, flocks disperse, males find their own territories and follow hens for breeding. The hens eventually brood and nest. The DNR anticipates more than 40,000 turkeys harvested this year. Well, some non-severe showers and thunderstorms could impact western parts of the Vienna area over the next couple of hours, maybe clipping the La Crosse area. And then later today, from 3 to 9 p.m., we could see some strong to severe storms, especially I-90 and south. Hail, strong winds, even an isolated tornado can't be fully ruled out, especially to the south. Also very windy today. Wind advisory for most areas due to east winds 20 to 30, gusting to 45 miles per hour. Otherwise, periods of showers and thunderstorms through the day. Highs in the lower to middle 60s, still showers likely and breezy tomorrow, 60, and a chance of showers, 57 on Thursday.